welcome you to Preview for Georgia, where a local budding rivalry goes national. It's the 7A champs out of Georgia, Collins Hill, making the 10-mile trip up the road to see Buford, the reigning 6A champs. And they have an Alabama commit, Justice Haynes. The number two ranked running back in the country. He's a young runner, but he's got very good vision and patient, he's slippery. He can make defenders miss, but what makes him special is when he hits the open field and the type of speed that he can produce. This is a great look. You're gonna see him work right, see the cutback lane, work across the green, then once he gets to that second level, watch the speed in the top right corner. He almost hits 22 miles per hour. Trust me, that is flying. Connor, I think that's faster than your car goes. When I drove a Suburban, it's definitely faster at 22 miles an hour. Let's go down to the field. Marilyn Payne is with our star running back, Justice Haynes. All right, Justice, on national television tonight, what do you want to show Alabama fans or college football fans that you can do? Uh, so I just want to come out here and play a complete game. You know, my brothers, me and my brothers, we've worked really hard this week. You know, coaches have prepared us really well. Just go out here and just get a double my team and just do everything that we need to do to get, get the job done. Now, Coach let us know that he runs your offense pretty similarly to Alabama's. What is that going to do for your transition from here to the next level? Well, I think it's going to do a lot. You know, it's going to make it an easier transition as well. And then I have a great running back coach here in Coach Davis, and he rotates us, something that's going to happen in college as well. We have four great running backs here, and, you know, we continue just to keep each other fresh and we push each other, and that's what's going to happen at Bama. So looking forward to tonight and just going out and get this dub. Next, and Ryan McKinnis and Justin Baker. A lot of guys getting the rock and Butler on his first carry out for a first down just shy of the four first down and 10 after Butler's first down and with Haynes back in there he slips a tackle and has a first down so he gets a little breather with Butler in can't like to keep it on the ground I haven't seen Whitkey air it out yet Back to Haynes, patiently to the edge, and around that edge. Here goes Justice Haynes, little high step, and he's dragged out at the five. The offensive lineman speaks again. Here's Haynes, churning it toward the goal line, and he gets in for a touchdown. A dominant drive for the running backs and the guys up front. Six zip Buford. That was the strawberry shortcake French toast. I am still cramping after all that powdered sugar. Hey, listen, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. We took him seriously. We came out of the gate strong this morning. Well, Justice Haynes, great opening drive. He capped it with a touchdown from five yards out, and uh, it all started on the ground for Buford. No pass plays on that first drive. I don't know what he had for breakfast, but it's certainly working here early on. Doing it really, and it all starts with that group up front. Excellent offensive line. Again, a lot of jumbo packs. You see the tight formations, body on a body. That Buford, big guys moving some of those Collins Hill defenders and creating nice seams that Justice Haynes was consistently able to exploit. There you see him working, breaking through some arm tackles, and then finishing it strong. And you made him retake it just so people at home could see how big he actually is. Well, they get a screen out to Crawford, their big back. He's got the sideline. Crawford's got some breakaway speed too. And he plunges his way inside the 30. <laughs> falling into situations where they can let that defensive line tee off. Like that. Oh man, Houston having a big first drive. With Collins Hill trying to answer back the opening score of Haynes. They roll out Sheehan to the end zone and incomplete. So third down play for Collins Hill and Sheehan tried to get out of trouble and he goes down. It's Houston again in on the play. And Bonacci is pure on it to get Collins Hill on the board. So both teams score on their opening drive. It was Haynes running down the field for Buford to Virginia Tech. And he does throw for the first time today and takes a shot. And a flag comes out with K.J. Bolden starting to break away down the sideline. It was C.J. Hector that held him. And that should extend the drive for a first down. Yeah, that was a clear penalty, and it didn't look like it needed to be one. It looked like that was way out in front of Bolden, even before he had grabbed a piece of jersey. Hold it. Defense. 10-yard penalty. And some momentum for the coach prime to Lincoln. Chance raining down. Sheehan gets that off out to C.J. Hector, and he fights his way ahead for a first down. In the top 25. This is a second down to start this quarter. And a screen play 
to Ethan Campbell, and he gets flung past the first down sticks and moves the chains. But he's got a young offensive line in front of him. Maybe the biggest turnover from their state title team. And he's running away from pressure and running out of it. Running away from Houston, and he had to get to the sticks way downfield before he gets drilled by McKinnis again. So it's a turnover on downs. We saw his future teammate at Lehigh a couple weeks ago in Richard Young. Here's Christian Butler. He bulldozes his way through a tackle. He's got a first down. It was Alvin Holland. And Justice Haynes back in the backfield. And he surges through the first line, and he's down to the 20. Another first down. The featured back totally embracing going there with the number one ranked running back. And here's Butler. He gets clipped by C.J. Hector. He's getting to position. And he's got Missouri coming after him. Sheehan shakes out of trouble, using his legs, taking off down the sideline, and the sticks go down. Empty for Sheehan. And he slings it out, has it to Ethan Campbell, who weaves his way across the 30. And he's got it. Getting the pass off, moving the chains. So they stay out of empty. Now the pressure comes. Sheehan out of it, but not the second time. There is Ezra Houston. There's Houston with that effort. And some speed, too. He's a track guy. Sheehan taken off again, and he's dragged down by Elijah Williams. And it's third down and 20. Sheehan is popped. Somehow held on to the ball, but it's Perlotti first there, and he got Elijah Williams in on him again. This is Haynes. It's completely another thing that he has shown throughout that first half. Already over 100 yards. They certainly give him the tools to be able to be effective with a big offensive line, a lot of jumbo packages, extra tight ends, and then he has excellent vision, decisive runner. We've also seen some power out of him tonight. The ability to use that stiff arm, lower that shoulder, break through tackles and finish runs. A really dynamic playmaker that has just been delivering there. The opening drive, punching it across the goal line. Well, this is with his dad, Veron. We told the story earlier. His dad, Veron, went to Georgia. Of course, the rival of the school that his son is going to. And then defense to work against itself. Well, Sheehan's gotten out of trouble a couple times tonight. That's going laterally. And they do say it goes forward. This could become some real heavyweight fights between these two. Justice Haynes in between the tackles, stepping out of a tackle, and he's got a first down. Harrison's a Robert Condici, and that's where Robert Condici went. A sweep on third down and 25, and it's punt time. The routes drifting to the opposite side of the field, and he gets a quick throw in there, and that is intercepted by Buford. Well, one official. Justin Baker into the game. And feeling good through the air, back up top. That's caught inside the five. White climbing the ladder over C.J. Hector. But an outstanding job from Tyshawn White. You're going to see him. He's got the step. He's going to make him work for it. He comes back, elevates, and makes the catch. Talked about K.J. Bolden, but another outstanding junior on that view. For his it's huge. It's a menu. That quarterback sneak and into the end zone. Clean for Tristan Gabriels. And a touchdown for Buford. So third down and four for Sheehan. On the move, there's Banks again with the ball on the four. And they got back on top of it. On the turf, offensive lineman Colin Rogers gets it back. Was a former five-star running back. Former number one running back. Gabriels to the air again, an incomplete. K.J. Bolden, who's the money down. With the Buford student section up. Sheehan over the top. He's got an open receiver, but incomplete. Chase Nash broke free to the sideline. Teams. Well, they get it to Bolden right out of the break. And there goes Bolden. He's down the sideline. One guy to beat. And he's jumped out of bounds. That's a way to get him going. K.J. Bolden. We just talked about it, the versatility. Which side of the ball will he play on in college? And it really depends on where he goes. But he shows you what he can do as a receiver. Quickly. So it's Haynes in the backfield again. Carving out space on the edge. Two stiff arms for a score. 
Touchdown for the Crimson Tide commit, Justice Haynes. And the field goal tonight. And a third down at eight for Sheehan. It's given time over the middle, and it's batted down. And a so well wishes to Elijah Williams, future head coach. He's off the edge again, and Sheehan over the middle, incomplete. Quentin Grambro. Remember, I mean, we just saw Richard Young a few weeks ago. I mean, he just kind of carried that Lehigh offense on his back with really just kind of a good end down there as they kind of deal with some really tough times. But as we saw from those two football programs, a lot of tough people there. Yeah, Coach Cheney down there, the head coach at Lehigh, was without. With Deuce Gerald. It was actually saying, though, at the same point in their careers, when they were both freshmen, that Deuce is further ahead than Robert was at that same point. He pointed out a couple of different NFL defensive linemen that have come out of Georgia that he feels like Gerald's is far out and ahead of already is just a ninth grader. So maybe a couple years away, no scoring for Collinsville after the opening drive tonight, and it's Buford's defense and their running game, led by Justice Haynes, getting them to 6-0. The Buford roster with a lot of FBS talent on it, which includes the Alabama commit number 22, Justice Haynes. We expected a big night. He delivered 130 yards, a pair of TDs, really talented.